Once upon a time, in a lush forest nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, there lived a mighty and fearsome bear named Bruno. Bruno was known throughout the land for his immense size, strength, and insatiable appetite. He roamed the forest freely, his heavy paws leaving deep imprints in the earth as he searched for food. One bright summer morning, as the sun's rays filtered through the trees, Bruno's rumbling stomach led him to a berry bush. With excitement in his eyes, he prepared to feast upon the ripe, juicy berries. However, just as he was about to sink his teeth into the delicious treats, a buzzing sound filled the air. Curious and slightly annoyed, Bruno turned his gaze toward the source of the buzzing noise. To his surprise, he discovered a swarm of bees busily collecting nectar from nearby flowers. The bees moved with such precision and unity that Bruno was captivated by their harmonious dance. Driven by his voracious hunger, Bruno disregarded the bees' presence and decided to proceed with his feast. But as he reached for the berries once again, he felt a sharp sting on his paw. Startled, he retracted his paw and saw a single bee hovering nearby, its tiny wings still vibrating with agitation. The bear's anger swelled within him. How dare these puny insects interrupt my meal, he growled, his voice echoing through the forest. Ignoring the pain in his paw, Bruno bellowed a warning, leave at once, or face the wrath of Bruno, the mighty bear. The bees, undeterred by Bruno's threats, hovered together in a cloud, their collective buzz growing louder. Then, with remarkable speed and precision, they began to sting the bear repeatedly. Bruno roared in agony as the bees relentlessly attacked him. No matter how hard he swatted or lunged, the bees seemed to multiply and become even more furious. Realizing that brute force would not solve his problem, Bruno changed his approach. He took a step back, his massive frame trembling with pain and frustration. He pondered the situation, recognizing that he needed to find a way to negotiate with the bees rather than fight them. Lowering his voice to a calmer tone, Bruno addressed the swarm, Dear bees, I apologize for my earlier outburst. I was driven by hunger and did not consider your presence. I acknowledge your strength and unity and admire your dedication to your work. If you would please grant me a moment to speak, I promise to rectify my mistake. The bees ceased their relentless stinging, curious to hear what the bear had to say. Bruno continued, I understand that I have trespassed upon your territory, and for that, I am genuinely sorry. In return, I offer my strength and protection. If you permit me to enjoy these berries, I will ensure that no harm comes to your hive. Let us coexist in harmony and mutual respect." The bees huddled together, their buzzing growing softer as they engaged in a silent conversation. After a few moments, their queen emerged from the swarm, hovering in front of Bruno. With regal grace, she spoke, Bear, your words have touched our hearts. We are willing to forgive your transgression, provided you keep your promise. We shall grant you safe passage, but any harm to our hive or fellow bees will not be tolerated. Grateful for their mercy, Bruno bowed his head in gratitude. Thank you for your generosity, wise queen. I swear upon my strength and honor that I will uphold this agreement. From that day forward, Bruno and the bees lived side by side, each respecting the other's presence. Bruno shared the forest's abundance with the bees, protecting their hive from potential dangers. In return, the bees diligently pollinated the flowers, ensuring a bountiful supply of berries and honey for both the bear and themselves. And so, the fable of the bear and the bees reminds us that even the mightiest can be humbled by smaller forces, and that humility, respect, and understanding are key to fostering harmony in any relationship, no matter how unlikely it may seem.